Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So, this video I was supposed to make sooner, but I thought why not add it with the pre third year anniversary thing. So, third year anniversary is gonna be in mid November, which gives us almost two and a half months from the day of this video upload. So, in this video, I will show you how you can save at least 2100 Shinobytes every month, plus some tips to enjoy the game as an F2P and also some tips for the upcoming third year anniversary. So we are going to be considering a time period between two SAM. So if SAM starts on 10th of this month, most likely next SAM will also start around 10th or 11th of next month, which gives us almost five weeks around 30 to 35 days, depending on the number of days in a month and stuff. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me. <laughs> Now first basic thing is daily login bonus. Now it doesn't seem like much when considered for just one day but if you look at the bigger picture you get 5 from present box, 5 from daily achievements so which makes it to 10 shinobites a day and for 30 days it's gonna be 300 shinobites just by login and some basic achievements. Now second are assault missions which we get twice a month for 2 shinobis so for this month it was Gara version 2 and the first, uh, first week of the after the SAM which was along with team attack mission and one we get off during the SAM uh, every month which will be the third shinobi for the SAM so assault mission two times a month solo battle gives you 60 shinobites if you clear all the stages and team battle gives you 45 shinobites and assault mission limited time achievements is also there which gives you a total of 30 shinobites if you complete a number of stage number of times so yeah so total of 60 plus 45 plus 30 which is 135 shinobites from one assault mission and we get these twice a month so two times 135 gives you 270 shinobites which brings the total to 300 plus 270 which is 570 shinobites now third is roundup mission i know solo battles have become tough but you can easily at least clear all the stages with the non-special shinobis which will give you a total of 110 shinobites if you complete all the stages in the solo thing and if you complete the team battle, you can play with anybody and get 65 shinobites. There is also a small roundup login bonus, which is 25 shinobites. And uh, also roundup limited time achievements, which is 50 shinobites. Which makes the roundup shinobites to 250 shinobites. Now the total is 300, 270, 250, which makes 820 shinobites. Now the most important contribution comes from Gokun in League Rewards. Now I understand that not all of you are in Gokunin but most of people are in at least Chonin League so now let's assume that you are in at least Chonin 2 so every week Monday you get 160 shinobites plus 12 attack mission tickets we will talk about these later so every Monday every week you get 160 shinobites so as I told you earlier we are gonna be considering the time period from one SAM to another SAM so which gives us five weeks before the next SAM starts so considering you are in Chonin 2 at least so you get 160 shinobites every week times 5 which is 800 shinobites. So now if you are in Gokunin this turns to 1000 shinobites before next time starts. Now also attack mission rank not everyone can do top 1k so I am considering top 5k which is very reasonable. So 10 shinobites into 5 weeks which gives us 50 shinobites. So total from attack mission we get 850 shinobites during one SAM duration. Now if you are in Gokunin you get 100 1050 shinobites now if you get 1k rank in attack mission also then it will become to 1200 shinobites because if you did 1k in attack mission then you are definitely in gokunin but considering the decent amount which is 850 shinobites from the chonin 2 league so now total is 300 plus 270 plus 250 and plus 850 which gives us 1670 shinobites now another good source of shinobites is surprise attack mission. Now only with 277k points you can get 100 shinobite every SAM from points reward and if your guild is in at least top 350 you get 200 shinobites after SAM ends. So if you also do top 1k then 100 shinobites more and if your guild comes in top 100 then you get 250 shinobites but let's assume not everyone can do that so every SAM 300 shinobites just by some point reward and top 350 guild rank in SAM which brings the total to 
300 plus 270 plus 250 plus 850 and plus 300 that is 1970 shinobytes. Now another small contribution comes from playback missions which we get before every roundup. So 40 shinobytes from those missions which brings the total to 2010 shinobytes. Now previously we used to get same rewards as Sam Guild reward from Guild Wars but they have reduced it to only 60 shinobytes from the contribution points. So and also some other stuff like summoning tickets and alliance medals but only 60 shinobytes so which brings the total to 2070 shinobytes from guild war contribution points so we have now come to a total of 2070 shinobytes from the whole month and let's round it up to 2100 shinobytes so everyone can easily get this by doing normal stuff in game and if you are a top grinder and everything uh, this number will increase to 2600 because of extra Gokurin rewards, top 1k in attack mission, top 1k in SAM, top 100 guild rank. So this number can easily be increased to around 2600. But uh, if you are just a normal player and don't grind that much then 2100 Shinovites every month is easy. Now along with these Shinovites, every month you get a lot of summoning tickets, attack mission tickets, roundup tickets. Now if you are a new to the game or lack good Shinobis, I would strongly recommend saving these tickets because during anniversary these banners might get updated with the new shinobi cards. So if you follow this step till anniversary you can save at least 5000 shinobites and if you are a grinder then you can save around 6500 shinobites. Now many of you might think what about Sam grind and stuff. Well if you are an F2P then I would recommend not to summon on every single shinobi in the month like right now we had Gara version 2, Madara reanimation, Hinata and Sakura version 2 and an upcoming Sam Shinobi. So as of now you should not spend on any of them. If someone really broken like Sonate version 2 comes in the game then yeah go for it. Otherwise better save Shinobites and skip 1 or 2 Sam till anniversary. Why am I saying this? Because anniversary is gonna introduce at least one broken unit which is gonna be must have unit. Someone like Kangoro maybe who knows. So and along with that many good banners with good tool rewards. So it's better to have a lot of Shinobites on hand before anniversary starts. Now I am not saying to skip good characters before anniversary. Always reach out to other players on discord, reddit and youtube channels to decide which shinobi to summon which shinobi to skip. So nowadays the game has become a lot more pay to win than F2P not gonna lie but if you still like this game and want to enjoy the game to the fullest then just control yourself and don't give in to temptations of the you know HP beats and multiple broken unit banners. If you can afford to spend some money every month in this game then I would strongly recommend purchasing this new subscription Shinobite pack which gives you a total of 600 Shinobites in the price of this 100 Shinobite pack. So every day you will get 20 Shinobites for 30 days. So if you can afford to buy this pack then definitely go for it. Now the Shinobites number can be increased if Bandai gives us some kind of special event bonus. You know maybe a pre-anniversary login bonus maybe which can give us a couple of hundred Shinobites more. But let's not keep our hopes up and just consider the lowest amount which is 2100 Shinobites. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give this video a like and do subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Sayonara.